Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. Last time, we finished up everything to do on Mount Snow. We beat the Winter Games, we beat Lunar and his Cerberus Alpha, we rescued the Prof only for him to get kidnapped again. He seems to be doing that a lot in this adventure. Anyways, today we are going to be heading to Aster's Lair. Personally, not one of my favorite areas of the game. It's, again, a slight blemish on what is already a pretty good game. But what can you do? It does have a few good levels in it, I will give it that, but still, a lot of it is not that good. So, we're going to be starting off with some Rolling Rock, and I feel like by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to need some hard alcohol. So, Rolling Rock, as the level name would suggest, means that we are being chased by a giant Rolling Rock, which, weirdly enough, is one of the very few things that is actually a 3D object in this game. I guess maybe they tested it out with a 2D object and thought... Yeah, this doesn't look so good, might as well just go with a 3D model, which, okay, fine, odd choice for a placement of it, but whatever. Ooh, I think I saw where the ghoul gem might be. Oh, oh, as you can see there, it's a really standout-ish thing with that 3D model of its. Uh, nope, I need to slide jump up there. Uh, nope. Ah, uh, slide jumps, why are you never so easy? If this game ever gets remastered, I hope to god they just designate the slide jump to a singular button. There we go. Oh, nope, overshot. All right, come on. Uh, back, back, and jump. Okay, good. Let's see, and that was all just for a green gem. All right, fine, whatever. I could use the health. Shake, shake. You got anything? Uh, red gems. I guess I can use the money as well. So, I was doing some thinking uh, in between last video and this one, and ooh, there's a cool gem. I think it's uh, there. Nope, come on. Yep. Grab it, grab the warp gate, there we go. Gold gem, nice. Now, how do I get out of here? And it's always the last place I look. As I was saying earlier, uh, the reason I don't like Aster's Lair that much, and there's a exit warp gate, I don't like Aster's Lair that much after thinking on it for a while. It's gotta do with the lighting of the level, the music for most of the parts, and just the level design for a lot of these places in general, because I don't know. I just was never big, a big fan. This game will rear its ugly head on bad level designs when we get to the second half of this. We're thankfully not going to be able to see it during this first half. And I will say, not all of Aster Slayer is a terrible level design. I arguably would say one of my favorite levels, or I guess favorite duo... Well, never mind that. My favorite duo of levels is actually, I believe it's before the, the cutoff point for here? Yeah, it should be. Just raise that rock. But yeah, I just never was a real fan. I'm sorry to anyone who actually does like this place, likes the music, and likes the arguably out of nowhere challenge. But I think many people who have played this game can say that the final two normal levels are some of the worst in this entire game, and they could have been done better. Oh boy! Literally teetering on the edge right there. Ooh! Come on. Come on, we don't have to worry about the gold gem. There we go, we're finally out. Never have to go and drink that rolling rock ever again. That stuff was nasty. Two minutes and 45 seconds? Uh, that's going to be a pain to get the A rank on if I want to, you know, get the last gold gem in the game, but whatever. It's time to embrace our inner Ramsey and deal with something that's totally raw. I apologize. Because it's a frog! A very circular frog, but whatever. It's a frog nonetheless. I'm just gonna write him in the battle. On my steed! Alright, fine. Give him a couple good shakes. Ow. Pretty easy boss fight. All you gotta do is grab his tongue. You can shake him and slam him into the ground multiple times. You can also just throw his tongue back into him. Or you can do a combo of the both. To get the gold gem for this guy, it's kind of weird how you have to do so. I love, I love how he sweats and is like freaking out that you're riding him. To get his gold gem, there's a certain point in the boss fight that we have to activate, and then we have to kill him in a very specific way. It's weird. He's the only boss that needs to be killed in a very specific way for his gold gem. It's not like you have to beat him with taking no damage or just shake him a bunch. But after we've done quite a bit of damage, if he would stick his tongue out, 
Go. No, he still hasn't shown up yet. Come on, Froggy. Come on, Frogger. No, you want to do it. Onwards! Hmm, he's not showing up yet. How much damage does this poor guy need to take? Ow. His ton is getting faster as the fight goes on, so you need to be really careful with it. Okay, there we go. The screen's getting darker, and there's a little bit of a croak. Lightning flashes down here, and there's a clan on the cloud. Honestly, it's a really weird thing. But what we need to do is grab the energy ball that he has, press B to give us some power, and then throw it at the boss. A fully powered shot will defeat the boss in one hit, and get ourselves our gold gem. Like I said, it's a really weird way to get the gold gem from a, a mini boss fight, but eh, what can you do? He was totally raw, but now he's freshly cooked. It's time to jump into the seven Clancer kids now. It, are you Marina? Long time no see! It's me, don't you remember? The three kids that you found? Of course, I remember. Does that mean I need to find the three kids again? Well, nothing gets by you, but now there are seven kids to be found. I've added a few. We've been pretty busy since the first chapter of the game. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Anyway, my kids haven't come home yet, and I'm worried. Please find them. Leave everything to me. She's very helpful. I, I, lo I love the genuine smile on her face. So, in terms of mini-boss rushes, this one's pretty much what this entire uh, chapter is. Just a bunch of boss rushes. You see the Clancer Kid in here? Wall closes in, and he transforms into one of many different bosses. Got ourselves a, a, a spinning spike dude. Grab the bombs and that he's that spin around him. Don't grab the spikes. If I can grab the bomb, there we go. And that's basically the gist of this entire level. Come on. Okay, now he's just starting to bug me. Oh my god! Ow. Can't really beat him until we grab all the bombs that are floating around him. And you don't actually hit him with the damn thing. You know what? Hold on a second. Nope. There we go. The better he gets, the more close to death he is. Shot should do it. Got him. I'll be taking that health, please, and thank you. Marina, is that you? Good heavens. Do you remember me? The kid with the fast moves? That's me. Will you also help my brothers? I'll tell you the whole story later. Please give us a hand. And he teleports himself. Let's jump over here. Got ourselves another cleanser kid. And what is he going to turn into this time? It's a rocket pack thing. Just grab the rocks. So whatever the hell these things are, they're moving, so I feel like they're, they're like bugs or something. Changes the angles of his, I guess, drill blasters since he's kind of digging whatever the hell these things are. As a kid, I always thought these were like like really weird bugs that came flying out just because of the fact that they're moving. Ah. Come on, there we go. 
go. Should probably be two more shots. Oh, I didn't actually know you could guard against the blasts. I thought they were like uh, damaged no matter what, where you touch them. Getting pretty red. Should do it with this last hit if I can hit it. Wow, it's really, it's real, it's a real life marina. She even moves on her own. Cool. I need to be careful. One of the kids down here has the. What the hell is that abomination? One of the kids down here actually carries the gold gem, and I need to give him a good shake before we talk to him. I don't think it was that one, so we should still be safe. I think it might be, no matter what, it's the last kid you talk to. Anyways, we got clam pots! Shooting out these things again. Got ourselves some health. We definitely could use that. Ow. Ow. I saw a green gem right there. It could have used. Uh, green gem. Ah. I guess you could say this level is a pretty good one for farming health because a lot of the bosses here do give out green gems. Although you do need to be careful because he does start shooting them pretty fast. One or two more shots should be enough. Nope, one shot was all we needed. So it's red gem, that's fine. So you're Marina. Uh, Celise told me all about you. Do you know where Celise went? I heard she was kidnapped by Kalina. I should have protected her. Going this way, that's... Oh, here, here's basically a map of the area. So we started... Hmm. I don't know where we started. I think it might have been right... Yeah, we started right here, went down here, went down there, so there should be something on this end. Indeed there is. There's another kid. What's he going to tell or transform into this time? It's another clam pot. Yeah, there's not really a, a big variety of mini-bosses in here. Put my training skills from when I was playing with the ball mini game back at the Olympics. I still want to know what the hell these things are. Like, they look like rocks, but then why the hell are they like moving around? Ugh, come on. What I don't like about the clam pot bosses is the fact that the entire arena shakes around while you're fighting them. Also, I feel like each of the boss arenas for these guys kind of gets a little bit smaller than the last one. More shots should do it. Okay, two more shots. There we go. I gotcha. There's our gold gem. Shoot, I'm trapped! So you're the reckless heroine, Marina. I'm sorry. I uh, get it. She's sorry. Or maybe he... I don't know. Terran always talks about you. But I don't think you're as cute or as smart as he always says you are. Uh-oh, sounds like Terran's got himself a crush. And I completely whipped that jump. No! Come back, clam ball! No! Go back up! Yeah. 
Take this. Get ourselves a bit of a teleporter to the blue side. I don't know where this location. I think it might be right over here. No, that. I think actually no. I think it teleported us right here, which kind of makes sense. You just flip flop this around, and it's a basic mirror of this side. Which means over here is ourselves another boss. And that's another spike. Hopefully I can actually aim for this one. And so far so good. Ah, I thought we were gonna be able to blind grab all of them. No such luck, unfortunately. Ah, missed it. Come on, thank you. And I whipped it. Come on. Stop teasing me. Just give me the high explosives that are floating around your body so I can throw it into your face and save you from being you. Ah. I didn't realize these spikes actually do a whole lot of damage to you. There we go. Wow, that was close. Thanks, Marina. Do you know what happened to my brother? I have to get back home to my mom. Thanks again, Marina. This is where you kids live. I want to question your parents' well, parenting skills. No wonder you kids got trapped in here and obviously cursed to turn into evil abominations. And it's yet another clam pot. I was kind of hoping it would have been like the, the blaster one. Clam pot, not really my favorite. I mean, at least there's like a fun challenge when it comes to the spike mini boss, but just the clam pot, I just hate to shake it around. I mean, at least we get green gems from this guy, so I can't really complain that much. Now, if I can actually hit the damn thing, we'll be golden. back here. Walk back over it. Nope. Okay, seriously. Throw it at an angle, Marina. Ooh, another reason why I don't like the clam pot. You really get comboed heavily with this fight. Shot should do it. If I can actually get one of these things. Got him. Wow, I actually got him on the drop as well. Oh, Marina! I never forgot you! This time I'll go quietly. I'm no longer a child. We're looking for Kane Aster, who is missing in this cave. He's in here somewhere. For the sake of Miss Od Odine, we won't let a the Empire rule us any longer. No! Clamball, save me! Ugh. Why would you come down here with those things wiggling around? Alright, thankfully this should be the last kid. And he's probably yep, the last one. This one also feels like he's a lot closer than the other... Uh, kids were. Oops. Blaster one is definitely the easiest out of all of them because you get a free pot shot every time he uses his things to, to shoot to the ground. shots and we should have him on the ropes. You know, if I don't throw everything at an angle. Got him. 
Thanks, Marina. That was close. The lady named Kalina used magic on us. Thanks for your help. See ya. And with that, all the kids are rescued. Thank you, miss. You saved my life. Here's a small reward. I mean, I didn't save your life. I saved your kids' lives. Also, thanks for the small reward, literally. I promise not to spend it all in one place. By the way, do you happen to know why Kalina kidnapped your kids? Long ago, there was a great king named King Aster. The kingdom was destroyed by the Empire, but the king was able to escape this cave. However, the king's one and only daughter, Undyne, was missing. So now we're... We're looking for the king and Undyne, who should now be the queen. Um... That has some really not good implications towards that. You might want to reward that. But the Empire isn't happy about this. If the king returns, the troops will follow him. At least that's the hope. But we must first destroy Kalina. Kalina? That's right. Kalina's looking for Terran and Selyse. We could use an ally, even if his power is not very strong. No. While he looks small, Terran has a strong inner power. Well, so much for that strong inner power. Hee hee hee, your buddies await you in heaven. And after defeating you, King Aster will be next. So, this is the end. My power is not strong enough. Terran, that's enough! I hate it when people sell themselves short, so don't you start talking like that. Both you and Kalina are getting on my last nerve. Yeah. It just sucker punches her right off screen. I love it. Stop crying. You must be strong. You're no longer a baby. <laughs> oh, and you're such a grown-up, Marina. It would seem that the existence of you and your friends is a threat to the Empire. It's time to pay the piper, Miss Marina Lightyears, and the price is your life. That's like the most nonchalant accepting of your death ever. Oh no! Yeah, rank D. I kind of figured that with how bad I was doing against the kids. But it's time for a rescue. Act 1. I wasn't kidding about Marina being dead. M Marina, it scathed me, but... Open your eyes! Oh, shoot. I should have been more careful, Marina. I'm sorry. There's no time for crying. Help me think of a plan to revive her. I know, when I was sneaking around the Imperial Lab, I saw what I believed was a recovery machine called the Mr. Health. Really? That means if we use it, she might recover. I'm going after this Mr. Health. I'm coming with you. It's too dangerous to go alone. No, it's easier to go in alone. Leave it to me. Sorry, please take good care of Khalees. Terran, you, don't you dare die on me. I don't know what I'd do if you were to die. Don't worry, I'm not planning to die anytime soon. I'm always careful, right, Khalees? That's right. I think he's the only one who can save Marina. So, yeah, we actually play as Terran this time. He has his own health bar. Uh, he has a different moveset, as you can see, he, instead of doing thruster attacks, or just thrusters in general, he has a number jump, which he can do to chain off each one, do a little bit of a glide it through the air. Instead of, um, grabbing and shaking everything and throwing it, you just give him a good old one-two. You also get to punch your sister, which is kind of mean. He has a guard attack, which protects him from most attacks. 
And yeah, Marina technically is dead right now. We gotta rescue her by getting her, her that Mr. Health. Take care of yourself. But before you go, don't forget to say goodbye to everyone. Taryn, don't forget that your power is weakened. And you can't throw your enemies. The only chance will be to use your triple punch to destroy your enemies. I'm jealous. She's not normally this kind of girl who cries. You must be special. Here's a tip. When attacked by a strong enemy, don't forget to guard by pressing down. So yeah, these guys are just basically giving you the tutorial on how to control Terran. It's a nice little change of pace. Like, as you might be feeling a little tired as playing Marina all the time, BAM! You get to play as Terran. Okay, Terran. Now, not only can you punch, but you can also use your slide. Slide, press A while you're holding down. So yeah, kind of forgot. Gotta do the slide. Also does a pretty powerful attack against certain enemies. Previously, we couldn't attack while jumping. But now, the super technique called Final Blow has been developed. You can destroy flying enemies by pressing B while you hold up. I kind of like it. This is like the Final Blow thing where it's like a hearty jump mixed in with a punch. Hey, Terran, my big brother told me that you've got some special moves. Like the triple jump. When you jump, press A three times to pull off a triple jump. I worry about you because you think you're invincible. Just be careful now and go destroy the Empire. And we're off! I don't exactly remember the location of the gold gem here, so if we find it on my first try, that'll be great. Just gonna punch your throwing stars right back at ya! I show no mercy to my enemies. Alright, good. Took care of that for me. Although, I think you were probably supposed to take care of that for me as well. Oh, well. Something tells me the gold gem is probably back there as well. Well, if I can even get up here. Tear it, jump! There we go. And there's nothing up here, so just want to double check to make sure. And yeah, basically the slide dash actually just one shots all the enemy plancers, and no, that was just a bunch of red gems. All right, nothing to be worried about. There's a bunch of blue gems down there, along with another warp gate. So something tells me we'll probably be down there sometime soon. Up here we gotta. You got a robot clancer thing with a nice little hat. I want that hat. I want that hat. Please, let me let me wear this hat. I like my old hat, but this new hat is, looks better. Got ourselves some help. And before we go in there, I want to check and see if there's anything around here. It's a trike! You know we have to ride the trike. And Terran actually rides the trike proper. He doesn't like have to boost it everywhere with it. Oops. Nope, wasn't supposed to do that. No! Trike, come back! I think what, actually what we need to do to get the gold gem is we need to do this little trike puzzle. Or maybe not. Nope, that was the end of the level. Okay. So we're going to come back here to get the gold gem. But it's time for rescue act two. And it's a boss fight. Hee <laughs> hee. Where'd this big... Where'd this bug come from? You're a little pest. I'll never forgive you for what you did to Marina and Kalise. 
You're so cute. If you want to play, I'm game, of course. This is for all the marbles. Ready? My strength. My courage. My ambition! Yep, they have a Sailor Moon-esque tra transformation sequence for her. Android Z. Her hands creep me out still. Kalina Change. Marina Clone. Hee hee hee! Ready? Fight! So, Kalina! Pretty okay boss fight, I guess. She's gonna be throwing these bombs. It's kinda like the Bowser fight from Mario. The ground's gonna break out if you let the clam bombs explode around her, or around you. you gotta wait for her to get ready to throw a bomb, do your jump attack, and then uh, finish her off with a couple punches. The gold gem for this location is kind of weird. It's hidden in one of the blocks down here. I think it's down to the far right. So you need to be super careful with fighting her because, as you can see, there's there's the limit to the arena. Ow. Oh, got the gem at least. Bye, Kalina. Oh, no, she can fly. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Oh, God. Got her. And that was Kalina. She's now officially dead, and we never have to see her again. Yeah, they kind of built Kalina up as a big threat in this game, only to have her get wasted by Terran. Escape from trouble, though. It's time to go to the next area. And the next area holds the Mr. Health. Put Marina inside and she'll be right as rain. Just don't forget to turn on the spin cycle. Alright, people. Before we end things off, we have one last challenge standing in our path. And you know what? It's Taurus time. It's tough to be a man. I want to cry. I don't know where I was going with that. He is so tone deaf because I was kind of going like the bit's tough to be a god from El Dorado, but then he just completely veered off course with that. Wow, that was close. Hey, come on. I've been waiting for it. So, the evil gorilla appears. Give me a, back my prof. Stop calling me a gorilla. Don't you know that I'm the infamous Sasquatch Beta? I don't know anything about Prof. Theo. Kidnapping isn't my style. Huh? So, who are you? Are you the stage boss I'm gonna easily defeat next? What? What did you say? You're dead meat. I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, um... Taurus is... kind of a challenging boss. He hits pretty hard, given, you know, what he is and all. Basically, wait for him to do a very strong jump, grab the rocks that fall, and then throw them into him. Big rocks do more damage, although they have less of a range. Smaller rocks do less damage, but move further. You know, the usual stuff. Wait for him to do his uh, wind-up punch so we can grab it. I think to get the gold gem, we need to send him flying back from his punch with... With No, we need to wait for his punch. Ah <laughs> Ah, come on. Need some distance. You can also cancel his attacks by grabbing him, which is alright. Come on, give me a punch. No, don't do that. Give me a punch. Come on. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. 
All right, whatever. We're not really going to be going for the gold gem on the first run, as always. Just, if we get it, we get it. If not, then I'm not really going to put go out of the way to get it. That's what the bonus segment's for. It's bad enough that he has to punch me in the face and jump on me and squash me and all that stuff. But does he really have to insult me as well? Oh, and we've kicked his ass already. No, I've lost. I can't believe it. Do whatever you want. You're the winner. I'm not going to kill anyone. That's not my style. Besides, you know, all the corpses I left on my way here. But yeah, we don't talk about them. I'm Ultra Intergalactic Cybot G Marina. M Marina. We shall meet again someday. Doesn't really look so much as defeated, more like he's just bored out of his mind. Just name the place and time, but you better get stronger than you are now. See ya! And just dashes right through the walk wall. C rank, yeah. Kind of what I was hoping I was gonna get. Thankfully it wasn't a D rank. I don't think we've gotten a D rank- oh, no wait, yes we did. I'm an idiot. Oh boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for now. Next time on Mischief Makers, we're going to continue on through Aster's Lair. Hopefully we can find out where the prof disappeared to. But from the looks of things, we're going to need to go on a ghost catching spree. This is where Aster's Lair really starts to become a bad level for me. But we'll have to wait till then. See you guys next time. Later.